Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and I am back again with Blank Dream. So last time we got introduced to our main character here, Mishiro, who is an unfortunately suicidal girl who successfully commits suicide and is now seeking to have her wish granted, which is to uh, erase herself from existence. Oh look, it's our teddy bear! Teddy, what's up, man? The teddy bear stares at you with round eyes. Cute. Is it? Is it going to murder us? What's that burning sound? Is something burning? Like, you hear that, right? That crackling noise? It's weird. Where's it coming from? It's making me uneasy. Oh, it's a fireplace. Hello, fireplace. The fireplace quietly lights up the room. Fireplace quietly lights up the room. Okay. What about you? A weak flame flickers in the lantern. Take the lantern, I guess. Ne yeah, she carefully took the lantern, alright. What are we gonna do with this? What happened? What happened? Mishiro heard the fireplace go out. The room was swallowed by darkness. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, what? Ah, 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 ah. What the hell? What the hell? Ah, ah. What the hell? Oh my god. What's going on? What is that? I don't know what that was. Something's following us. It's the teddy bear, isn't it? Oh shit, it's the teddy bear, it's the teddy bear. The teddy bear's come to kill us. Or not. Oh shit! <laughs> what was in there? Who was after us? Oh, something bad, I bet. Something bad indeed. Okay, um... Save file three, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like randomly saving over things. Okay. Okay, what do we got? What do we got in our inventory now? Double check everything. Knife, firewood, and lantern. Kindling from a dead tree, dry and flammable. Um, well, okay, so that's good. Okay, we don't have any keys or anything. I guess we go back. Away from the broken shields and stuff. Look around a bit more. What's it say? Realm of greenery. Let the meeting be a light of hope. Let that meeting be a light of hope. Okay then, what we got here? Gold door is locked. Oh look, there's a thingy, and our plaque. Realm of death. No life can live beyond. A, but, uh, no life can live before a distorted wheel. It's a weird thing to say. What we got here? Bronze door is locked. Are all the doors locked except for the green one? Realm of love. Now a warm dead illusion. What the fuck? It's another gold door. Is it the same thing? Realm of Blood. Bathe in, bathe in it if you wish and go mad. Seems kind of awful. Ah, uh, silver door is locked. Okay, so everything's locked, I think. Realm of Spirits. On the wind sounds tragedy- Eh! On the wind sounds tragedies end and beginning. And what about you? Bronze door is also locked. What's this one? Realm of Beauty. For whom does the brush dance? Um, clearly not our hair by how fluffy it is. Love her hair, it's adorable. Okay, so we can only go in here. And the- there's a bronze door up top, that was locked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the only other way, right? I have an idea! Did that work? Lantern? Lens- um, so it might go out. What about if we put firewood on the tree, right? Could we burn it? It said kindling, right? Oh, we can burn it. Burn, baby, burn. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that thing light up. The tree burned fiercely. Tree burned with great power. Undyne would be proud of this tree. <laughs> nice. Okay, so it burnt to ashes. What does it mean? Got some stumps here. Can't interact with the stumps, though. Just ignore them, I guess. Just ignore them. Got another save point. <gasps> a mirror! It's a mirror, it's a mirror, it's a mirror! Okay, we're doing something right then. Hello, us. Uh, look in! So we have to go and kill ourselves in here, right? Six months ago, Mirror Lake. Wait. I thought she said she drowned in a lake, right? Or that she threw herself into the lake. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I- it's all stuff for me, I'll never existed, more or less. Mere lake. I might as well just test that rumor. 
Mirror Lake, a lake in a desolate park, about a 20-minute train ride from home. There is an old rumor about it. It was said, hey, nice weather, huh? Hello. Who are you? I'm talking to you. No one else here is there. Yeah? Um, who will you be? Oh, just passing high school student. But I noticed you staring at that lake with that hall look. There is always a chance, so I thought I should call out to you. Oh, that we might kill ourselves. Well, you would be right. You would be right, sir. So, um, that's unnecessary. I'm not going to jump in or anything. Except we will. That's good to hear, but there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it, it, yeah, stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just see it being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. Is this love? Are we going to be loved? Uh, you're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? <laughs> you see, I'm going to, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm a Yato Hinahara. Um, I came in, I came to paint the park today, so, uh, do you mean, like, paint in the park? I, I don't know what he means by that. Um, I'm not just trying to flirt. Why you tell me your name? Are you flirting? <laughs> he just said he's not trying to flirt. I just said I'm not. Introductions are the first step to breaking down barriers. I guess. So, what's your name? I'm not telling you. Fuck you. Go on to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. So, how's that painting going? So, you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was just carrying this clunky easel for... I don't remember how to pronounce this. Is it easel? Uh, easel? I don't know. Um, for show? Not really. Oh, well. If you're not here for a suicide, you should stick around for a bit. See my awesome painting skills as I get absent-minded when I'm painting. But still, it's lonely when no one's around. Okay. Any items which Mishiro has in the present, she does not have in the past and thus cannot use. So we have to find a new way to kill ourselves here. I got this canvas. There's nothing on it yet. And then there's Ayato. I have a bit of a connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. Okay. I don't think we can leave without killing our seal. What we got here? Rental boats. It's just a sign. Mishiro occasionally saw people on boats. So do we just toss ourselves in? Ayato is focusing on his painting and isn't looking at her. Let's, let's wait. Let's hold off on that real quick. Let me see if there's anything else we can actually go and do. Can we? Nope. Okay, so. And I don't think we're going to be able to go this way. So yep, we just go and throw ourselves in. So weird, right? It's all like, we're not going to do it. Don't worry about us. And we need to go ahead and do it. Jump in. It'll surely be painful. Go ahead and jump in. Mishira threw herself in the mirror lake. That's how she went, though. That's how she went. Six months ago, though. Right? Huh. This is weird. Uh... Mishiro came too again, standing before the mirror. Though she still felt like water in her nose, her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yes, I met Hayato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little more about myself. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. What is she losing? What does she keep on losing each time? Like, is it a part of her happiness? Is it, like, you know, her will to live? What, what is she losing? It's like driving me nuts. Alright, um, let's go ahead and save. Gonna get better at, you know, saving stuff. Don't want anything to go crazy. What kind of- <laughs> Oh god. Oh, my arms. Oh shit. Oh god. What the fuck was that? Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, my arms went cold. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that thing? It looks like a tree. Uh. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. 
Is it going to still be out there? It was like a tree with teeth. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Let's get the fuck out of- Get the fuck out of there. What the fuck was that? What is it? Was that supposed to be like a bloody handprint or some shit? What was that? Oh, Mishiro! Over here! Come on! Uh, I don't remember your name. Yuzu, right? Yeah. Oh! New guy. Look! Look! It's amazing! Another person! This- Music! Who is this person? It's seriously rare for two skulls to wander in in such a short span of time! Mm-hmm. Uh, what? What's up, buddy? Oh, forgive me. But looking at you makes something nag at me. Don't quite understand why. Probably not acquainted or anything, right? Anyway, my name's Ryotaro. Probably. That's the name in the suit, anyway. <laughs> oh, not like I remembered it myself, so it feels strangely unreal. I'm Mishiro. Right, nice to meet you. I was wondering this strange world for a bit before I find a Yuzu here. What's with it, really? Feels like some other dimension. I love how, like, self-aware they are. They're like, okay, this is our lot in, uh, afterlife, whatever. This is a world where souls with a wish end up. Can you remember your wish, Ryutaru? Wish, um, I wonder, oh, I wonder. You can't remember anything exact, huh? Seems that way, like a fog over all my memories. Well, yeah, I was like that at first. Mishiro's just special, I guess. Uh, she was talking about souls getting jealous. Uh, when was that first, or how long were you here? I guess? Yeah, they're both the same thing. It's like, how long were you here? I haven't really been counting, so all I can say is, a while ago. I think it's been several years, maybe. Whoa. Yeah, she's going to get jealous, I can tell. <laughs> she's going to be really pissed. So you died years ago? Probably long enough ago that I've gotten used to this place and having no memory. The only time I got any sort of memory back was the time I found a mirror with my reflection. I've seen other mirrors around this world, but they showed other people or nothing at all. I found... Oh. Should we tell her? I feel like that'll piss her off something fierce. I found a mirror of mine earlier. The mirrors are deep in the realms. Should we... Oh, that will give her a hint. That way she can go find her own, right? Huh? Seriously, Mashiro? You've been looking really proactive while I'm not looking. You've been really proactive while I'm not looking. Ugh. If you keep it up and find more mirrors, could you try to look for our mirrors too? I don't think it's a coincidence that you seem different from other souls, Mishiro. Just while you're at it, if you have time. Um, I guess I can try, but shouldn't you guys try to find your own? I really don't think that's going to go well with her. She was talking about, like, all the jealousy stuff. I feel like that's going to come back up. So, young lady, you're remembering who you are bit by bit? Get back our memories, grant our wish, that'll... What, uh, what will happen to us deceased after that? Surely we'll be at peace and go to heaven, eh? Or, you know, in Mishiro's case, probably never even existed, so... That's unfortunate. Deep in the realms, huh? I always stayed away because of all the evil spirits. Does that stuff not bother you, Mishiro? Well, she does have her goth lily thing going on, so probably... I don't know, that tree bothered the fuck out of me. It moved in a disturbing fashion. <laughs> Uh, Realm of Green. We're just going to save over that so we don't have to deal with that ever again. And we are, you know, at the end of the episode. Because, like I said before, these are going to be some short ones because it's an indie game. And I don't think it's going to actually be that long of a game. But, yeah, so... Mmm, I did not like that. I did not like that tree at all. <laughs> that tree was the worst thing ever. Was it the spirit of the tree that we burned? Is that what it was supposed to be? Because, like... I'm not sure, but that thing was like so fucking creepy. <laughs> oh, that's gonna haunt my nightmares. But I'm serious, my arm like went numb. It was, ugh, it was just awful. But okay, so we have two, another new guy here, Ryutaro. Like, are these all people who have committed suicide, or are they just people who died like with one strong wish? Like, Mishiro's would have been like she died, but she never wanted to exist. It. She didn't just want to die. She wanted to never have been. So what could these guys' wishes have been, I wonder? I mean, will we be able to find them out? I'm hoping we'll be able to find them out because, you know, why else introduce them if you don't want to know more about them kind of thing, but... Fingers crossed, maybe we'll be able to do some good for them and all that. I really hope that Yuzu doesn't get jealous of us, though. 
Like, I have this feeling, just from the way she's talking, she's, like, trying to be friendly and stuff, she's trying to be super nice, but then you have, like, this underlying, like, oh, you did that super quick, oh, wow, you, uh, you've been super, super, uh, you know, active, huh? And I've just been here seven years, or several years, whatever she said. <laughs> And seven is just like I don't. I can feel resentment starting to build, even if she's all hunky dory, cheery, and stuff. I can just see it coming. But uh, yeah. So next time we are going to um, go and use uh, what is this? This bronze key on one of those doors. We have two doors. Two doors with that. Um, I remember one was the one with the brush, and I don't remember what the other one said. But we're going to go look into those two doors, or one door. I don't know if it only opens one or two doors. We'll open both or we'll only open one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out um, in the next episode. So, you know, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching.